Hey y'all, it's Erin here. Hope you're having a fabulous start to your Monday. Hope it's starting strong, that you're starting positive and uh, getting ready to, for the week and just piling all of your energy into moving forward each and every day and each moment, okay, the best that you can. We're still over here fighting a little something off, so I thought I would do another bit of a strength routine with a resistance band. All right, these exercises, none of them you need a resistance band for. You can do them all body weight. All right, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you may want to grab a weight um, or ankle weights if you have them. You can use for the lower body exercises. And if you have like a can, a water bottle, or some dumbbells that you can grab for the upper body exercises, that's great. If you're doing these every hour, just remember that you really don't want a lot of weight because we're gonna be doing them every hour throughout the day. You don't need to load on your max every hour, okay? Um, so just take that easy. If you're doing a workout, check out the description below. You can make this a quick 10 minute workout. You'll be sweating and you'll be moving and it'll feel great, okay? You'll be shaking by the end. Um, all right, so we're gonna do these exercises in a circuit fashion today because I'm gonna work one side of the body for the first round and one side of the body for the second round. We do have four exercises where the fourth exercise it, you use both sides for the workout. Uh, it's a high pull, so you're gonna use both sides. So one round, you're gonna anchor through the foot, the first three exercises, then you'll do the last exercise, the double high pull, and then the second, you'll shift the band to the opposite side. You'll work on the right side, arms and leg, arm and leg, and then you'll finish with a double high pull, okay? So I have a chair here. You can use a chair if you want a little balance support. You see it in this, it's black. <laughs> um, it is right here. So if you want a little bit of extra balance support, grab a chair. Otherwise, um, excellent, excellent idea to challenge yourself to not use a chair and fight for that balance and strength at the same time using every part of your body. Make this even more of a full body exercise. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna anchor through the right foot this time. And I'm going to, to start, I'm going to take the band, my left foot, just around the arch of my left foot. So here's where the chair can come in comfy, handy, you can place your elbows down, but make sure that you're not rounding forward, okay? So you don't want to round through the back, you still want a flat back. So if you're here or here, make sure that that back and neck is in neutral spine position. Okay, always, as always, you are pulling the belly button in, squeezing the glutes, rolling the shoulders down and back. Okay, from here, support. This right leg is gonna be working just to support because it's kind of counter-resisting, all right? And supporting the weight of your body, balancing, all that good stuff. So you will feel it working, but we're focusing in on hamstring curls. So we wanna curl in here, focus on that. So we're gonna bring the heel towards the bum, and you can have that toe slightly back. You're not gonna be starting from here. So slightly back, hinging just at the knee. Everything else stays still on the body. Okay, up for two, down for three. Up for two, down for one, two, three. You're really gonna feel this by the tenth. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna keep grounding through that right foot. I'm just gonna shift the anchor so it's around my ankles. Same with this one because we're going into a straight leg raise okay so from here again pressing down through grounding through that right foot we're going to take the leg straight this time we're working into the glutes now so what i want you to do is not to take your legs straight back and up so this one i want you to lean forward just a little bit if you don't have the chair in front of you and just kind of have your hands together you're actually going to go out to about a 45 degree angle with that so from here I'm gonna go out, A, being careful not to arch through that low back, A, so supporting through that right leg, my right leg is also on fire, A, pulling, working into those glutes, and 10 of those. Then I'm gonna unwrap my feet here, I'm gonna keep that um, anchor under the right foot here, going into our second to last exercise, our upper body, A, if you want, support your upper body weight with that chair in front of you or you can either have that supported on uh, the arm supported or forearm supported on your knee 
or thigh or your hand. Just hanging out here and squeeze the glutes, belly button is in, hips and shoulders are level the whole time. So I'm going to show you this one from the front because it's really important, okay? So grounding here, we're do, going into a row. So I'm going to drive my elbow up. I'm going to keep it into a narrow row. So we're just going to keep the elbow nice and tight into the rib cage, drive the elbow straight up to the sky, okay? So for this one, look, I'm not leaning down and I'm not opening up through here, all right? What we're doing is we're just keeping those hips, shoulders, everything level, drive that elbow up, okay? and squeeze that shoulder blade in towards the spine. So from the side is here, squeezing, neutral spine position, using that breath. And then last but not least, you're gonna keep that band under that foot. You're gonna take your feet to kind of hip width position. You're gonna grab the band with both hands this time, palms are facing your thighs. Roll the shoulders down and back. And this one, we are leading with the elbows, okay? And we're pulling this band towards our chin and chest. So straight up the body, okay? We're not overdoing it. You gotta watch that you're not doing this to try and get up further, you know, pushing your hips forward. You wanna keep that belly button pulled in. Lead with those elbows, stop here. And try not to lift with those traps. So you can kind of lift like this that gets really, really tiring for the neck. So shoulders roll down and back. Up, don't forget your breath. Up for two, down for one, two, three. Up for two, down for one, two, three. I'm gonna be feeling this one definitely in the shoulders, okay? Shoulders, woo! All right, that's it for your exercises today, I hope that you have a fabulous day <laughs> um, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for some more moves all right take care guys thank you so much for watching